NASA astronaut Stephanie Wilson is here joining us alongside Zena Cardman, both of you NASA astronauts. It is so good to have you both here. You're both, you both trained for Crew 9. This is where you probably expected to be on this day, but you have accepted this role of supporting your friends for launch. And as they get ready to launch with 15 minutes left to go, Stephanie, question for you. What is, what is the mindset of the, of the crew, the crew that you trained with? You've flown into space three times on the space shuttle. What's the mindset of the crew right now? Well, thank you, Daryl, and thank you, Zena, for having me join you today. And, yes, they, uh, both Zena and I have trained for a year and a half with Nick and Alex. They have trained hard. They are well prepared. In this moment where they are strapped inside the vehicle with just the two of them, they are reviewing procedures. They have trained for this moment. They are ready to execute the mission. They are, of course, looking forward to the work that's ahead of them on the International Space Station. Uh, perhaps a little bit sad to be leaving family and friends, but they'll be talking to them soon once they have docked to the International Space Station. But it's a moment to review all of the hard work that has gone into this moment in the preparation and to be ready to execute the mission, which they will do very well. Speaking of hard work, you both trained for Crew 9 for a year and a half. And so from a human level, we know you are professional astronauts. Your seats were needed for Butch and Sonny to bring them back. What was like for you personally when you learned that you wouldn't be flying today, but you would be flying some other time, but, but not today? Yeah, gosh, Daryl, I think I felt a lot of emotion when I saw Stephanie walking through the door there. It's, it's bittersweet, but it's a really beautiful thing. I think any launch is a testament to the power of collaboration, and this launch maybe even more so than usual. I think... From my perspective, it's a privilege and a choice to take part in something that's larger than yourself, and that's a choice that I make today and the next day and the next day. So in this moment, it is, it's feeling exciting, it's feeling bittersweet, but for the most part, I'm feeling a lot of joy and pride in our space program and so excited for our crew members, especially Alexander. This is his first launch to space. Nick, this will be his uh, second mission to the International Space Station. It's going to be a beautiful day. And, I and think for you? For you, Steph? Yes, very, very similar. I think that uh, we all train together. Adaptability and flexibility is key as we look across our core. You know, we all train for various roles, so, and we select people that can serve in various roles and can be seamlessly thrown into different roles. And um, excited for them. We're always excited for our colleagues to have an opportunity to launch into space. Of course, we wish we could be with them. We have trained for, with them for, uh, for this time. We, of course, want to be together. We have built friendship and, 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 the, and camaraderie and uh, learned for the roles uh, for the Cree Dragon and for the International Space Station. But uh, I am very excited for them, looking forward to hearing their stories from space and for seeing them launch. I'm Daryl Dale, and this is NASA astronaut Zena Cardman, who has been with us for the past four hours documenting Crew 9's path from astronaut crew quarters suiting up all the way to the rocket, lifting off, and then getting into space today. And I got to watch it with Zena in this role I get to watch oftentimes as, as we break, go outside and watch a uh, launch with the astronaut. And uh, in this particular case, Zena, with you being the commander from the beginning and then giving up your seat, you and fellow astronaut uh, Stephanie Wilson, so that those seats could be used by Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams to come back. Um, this has a very close association to you, clearly. Um, what was your reaction there when you were watching them lift off into space? Yeah, Daryl, I think every crude launch that I have ever watched has really brought me a lot of emotion. This one today was especially unique. I think it was hard not to watch that rocket lift off without thinking, that's my rocket and that's my crew. But I also know that I'm not the only person who can think that. Of course, we have Stephanie Wilson here today, but I mean there are many, many people who made this mission happen, and there are people on orbit who will be taking this capsule home. And it makes me very proud to know that I am one of many people who can say, that's my crew, that's my rocket. makes me really proud, makes me feel very connected to this mission that we all get to take part of. Go Crew 9. Well said, Zena. And an emotional moment in time out there uh, watching the rocket uh, lift off. And, and now the work begins. You will start training for the next mission. You spent a year and a half training for this one. You're now going to go into space at some point. 
What does the future hold for you at this point? Yeah, it's a little bit to be determined. We've got a lot of exciting things ahead. I'm looking forward to starting training again at some point. And in the meantime, I can't wait to watch Nick and Alexander and the entire Expedition 72 crew really get to work and execute that mission that we all have worked so hard to make possible. Yeah, and Nick and Alexander will become part of Expedition 72, as you mentioned, when they arrive on Space Station. NASA's Megan Cruz has joined us now with Jennifer Buckley, the chief scientist.